This is Oppo A5 Pro 5G smartphone and in this video I'm gonna show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features of this smartphone. You can use two applications at the same time in this smartphone. Let me show you how you can do that. Open the first application and then swipe up by using three fingers like this. Then select the second application you want to use. As you can see you will be able to use two applications at the same time in the single screen. You can also resize it from the middle like this. You can enable double tap to lock and double tap to wake your screen up feature. To do that, tap and hold on the home screen, select more. Firstly, enable double tap to lock, scroll down, also enable double tap to turn screen on or off. Now whenever you are on home screen, you can double tap on the blank area, then it will lock your smartphone and if you will double tap on the locked screen, then it will wake your screen up. You can monitor your real time internet speed in the smartphone and you don't have to download any third party app for that. Open your settings. Scroll down and then select notification and quick settings. Select status bar and then enable real time network speed. Then it will start showing your internet speed in the status bar. In the same status bar settings, you can also change the battery style from here as well. Whenever you use your phone with a single hand, then it feels really uncomfortable to reach at the corner and open any of these applications. But there's a gesture for that. Tap and hold on the home screen. Select more. There you will see the option of icon pull down gesture, click on this and then enable this. Now whenever you are on home screen, you can swipe up from either side of the screen like this. Then it will bring all the application around your thumb. You can simply select any of these, then it will open that application. So you can use this icon pull down gesture to easily open any of these application on the home screen. If you will long press your power button, then it will launch voice assistant instead of opening your power menu. If you want to set it to power menu, then open your settings, scroll down and then select accessibility and convenience. Again scroll down and then select power button. Again select press and hold power button and then select power menu. Now if you will long press your power button then it will launch your power menu. But if you want to keep this as your digital assistant, now if you want to launch your power menu then you can press volume up button and power button at the same time then it will launch your power menu. This phone comes with a lot of offline cool looking themes. To set them, open your settings, select wallpaper and style. Here you have some offline themes. Select any of these and then click on apply. It will take few seconds. After that, it will set that theme on your smartphone. If you want to change the order of these three buttons or if you want to set gesture navigation, then open your settings, scroll down to the bottom and then select system and updates. Select system navigation. From here, you can change the order of these three buttons. Now, if you want to set gestures, simply select gestures, click on cancel. Now you can go back like this, open your recent application like this and jump to your home screen like this. If you like to multitask in your smartphone, then you can use the smart sidebar feature. By default, this feature is disabled. To enable this, open your settings, scroll down and then select accessibility and convenience, select smart sidebar and then enable this. It will start showing a transparent bar on the right side of your screen. To open this, simply swipe to the left like this. Click on get started. By default, it has some application. If you want to edit this, click on edit. You can remove unnecessary application from here and add your favorite or most usable application. After this, click on done. Here, the option of file doc. You can temporarily save your photos or videos here. You can screenshot it. You can Translate your screen with the help of screen translate. Now if you will open any application from the smart sidebar, then it will open it in floating window. You can resize it from the corners like this, drag and drop it anywhere. And if you want to close this, simply tap on this and then close it. So if you like to multitask, then you can use the smart sidebar feature. If you use your phone at night a lot, then you can use the next two features to protect your eyes. Open your settings, select display and brightness. The first one is dark mode. If you will enable this, then it will turn the whites that you have on your screen into black and this will decrease the pressure on your eyes. The second one is eye comfort. Click on this and then enable this. It will warm the color of your screen. As you can see, this will also decrease the pressure on your eyes. You can also adjust the intensity as well. So you can use these two features if you use your phone at night a lot. You can turn on or off your flashlight even when your phone is locked with the help of your volume down button. By default this feature is disabled. To enable this open your settings, 
scroll down and then select accessibility and convenience scroll down and then select gesture and motions enable this turn on or off torch with volume button now whenever your phone is locked you can long press your volume down button then it will turn on your flashlight and if you will long press it again then it will turn it off you can make clone or make dual of a lot of application in the smartphone to do that open your settings scroll down and then select apps select app cloner it will show you some application and if you click on other apps then it will show you a lot of applications select the application you want to clone and then enable this it will take few seconds after that it will make the clone of that application as you can see in my app drawer i have two drives now and i can log in with two different account and use two drives at the same time if you don't like this app drawer and you want all your application on your home screen then tap and hold on the home screen select more select home screen and then select standard click on apply and then select switch it will take few seconds after that it will bring all your application on your home screen and disable that app drawer when you are on home screen you don't have to reach at the top to open this control center and notification center there is a simple gesture for that to enable this tap and hold on the home screen select more here you will see the option of swipe down on home screen select this one and then select notification and quick setting now whenever you are on home screen you can swipe down on the empty area like this then it will open your control center as well as your notification center this phone comes with a lot of screen of gestures so you can do a lot even when your phone is locked to customize this open your settings scroll down and then select accessibility and convenience select gestures and motions there on the top you will see the option of screen of gestures select this one the first one is draw and o to open camera enable this now whenever your phone is locked you can simply draw an o then it will directly open your camera application the second one is draw a v to turn torch on or off if you will enable this then whenever your phone is locked you can simply draw a v then it will turn on your flashlight and if you will draw it again then it will turn it off you can also select any of these letters and symbols to quickly launch your favorite application for example if you will enable this draw w tap on this and then select open an app select your favorite application and then whenever your phone is locked you can simply draw that alphabet then it will open that application you can also control your music when your phone is locked enable this then you can draw two lines like this to play and pause your music you can draw these symbols to play previous and next song in your smartphone if you want to increase the life span of your phone's battery then open your settings scroll down and then select battery select battery health and then enable smart charging so it will charge your phone up to 80% with normal speed and then charge your phone up to 100% with little bit less speed so with the help of this smart charging feature you can increase the life span of your phone's battery you can fully customize the shape size of these apps icon you can even change the name of any of these application to do that tap and hold on the home screen and then select icons from here you can change the size of these apps from here you can change the icons you can also change the shapes of these from here after this click on apply now if you want to change the name of any of these apps then tap and hold on that application select edit and from here you can change the name of this application if you use your phone with single hand a lot then you can use the one handed mode for that by default this feature is disabled to enable this open your settings select accessibility and convenience and then select one handed mode enable one handed mode now to use this one you have to scroll down from the bottom like this then it will open your one handed mode now you can easily use your phone with a single hand and to exit this simply tap on the empty area then it will exit the one handed mode you can also change the transition effect on your home screen tap and hold on the home screen and then select transitions here you have really cool looking transition effects select your favorite one and then click on apply as you can see it will change it to that selected transition you can hide your photos and videos you can hide your application and even lock your application and you don't have to download any third party for that open your settings scroll down and then select security and privacy scroll down to the bottom from here you can lock your application hide your application and then hide your photos and videos if you want a separate video for that then please let me know in the comment section i will make a separate video for that 
So these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of Oppo V5 Pro 5G smartphone. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and let us know in the comment section which feature you like the most. We will see you in the next one. Till then, have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone. Thank you.